Right, I'm going to just try another movie. Number two. I've uh, <coughs> just come up the hill. Got quite hot actually, so I take my scarf, hat, and gloves off. And um, tie my hair back and have a drink of water. It was really warm, the sun was beaming a minute ago, but of course you, it is deceiving and you can get cold very quickly. So I've just come through that gate there, that's the way down, which I've just come up. This is an alternative way up to Cheddar Gorge. Most of the time I do the route down there, which is extremely steep and slippery. Um, <sighs> When the weather's really bad, this is, I would say, the easier route because that one is, well, a bone-breaking um, type walk. Whereas this one is um, slightly easier look through the trees there. I just love the walls here. Yeah, you can walk up that way. I think I've done it once before. So we just follow the path. Sometimes it's not really marked. It's a case of instinct, but I've been here, I've done it a few times now. So um, I'm, familiar, I'm familiar with it. There are probably cave systems all under here, by the way, as well. When you go down the lower route, you can see like an entrance to a cave, which I think has been blocked up now. Yeah, this is um, a, a nice steady walk this way. And you, for people, they, somebody puts arrows out for people to follow, look. These might even glow in the dark. There's also various trees have got different luminous dots on them. But I don't know whether that's from paintball or whether that is like a marker for people to follow, I'm not sure. But there is like a rough sort of... Um, pathway. In many ways it's easier to find your way in the winter because you haven't got all the greenery. So and if you, if you see the fence there you just keep following this side of the fence you'll come out and you'll see the gorge eventually. But it is quite slippery. But I just thought I'd try another uh, short video. I could have this camera on a timer where it, it turns off. To, it might turn itself off after like 10, 15 minutes, I think. It might be a power saver in device. I have fiddled with it, so if it turns off again in a minute, it's probably a good idea, actually, because I ramble on. I do ramble. I do ramble indeed, I do. As long as the rain keeps off or just light showers, that'd be okay. I have got waterproof trousers in my bag. This coat is pretty good, but once the water starts getting through to the lining, well, you know, it, it, will, it will, it would in heavy rain, but it becomes increasingly heavy as well. Just waiting for the weather to warm up a bit so I can put this coat away, hang it up. So it does weigh a lot, this, this, um, but it is very good to keep you warm. Through there I can see this track from the steep slope over there. We'll join up with it in a minute. But it's, it's very, very muddy and slippery and steep over there. It, it doesn't look much, but it really is. Anyway, I'm going to turn off anyway. This is just really a continuation of the walk I did the other day. Um, carrying on the exploration of this particular area. 
of the gorge. And like I said, I've done it all before, but you always see something different. Something catches your eye. It could be just, just, just a different season where things stick out, which they wouldn't have done before. I've already seen a couple of little goats. The goats are out all year round. Right, I'm picking up the truck over there in a second. I don't know whether to join it now or not. Okay, I might carry on up here actually. I'll join it when I get up here. This is steep as well. Hence the deep breathing, everyone. Right, over and out. This is Sheila, 8th of February, 2017.